up, it's your boy Lalo C. And we're gonna go chop this Hollywood bank. Brim went up business. Shout out to Baltimore, my age come out of Maryland, say, oh, bitch, I'm from Maryland. And a ramming roof on my new Ultima, no Maserati. Low key in a rental booth, so please don't tell nobody. She just tapped her home, girl, look, girl, that go Luca Branson. Excuse me, babe, I'm on a lot of drugs, I'm on my body law. Got my boy Hollywood Bangers in the building, man. Yeah, you know, man. Yo, man. So, so tell me how you got that name, Hollywood Bangers. How that come about? I knew that was gonna be the first class. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look. Long story short, when you think of Hollywood, what's the first thing you think about? You think of the, you know what I mean, the Walk of Fame. You think of all the stars out there. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking the whole time, you know what I'm saying, that the way I'm gonna be a star, you know what I'm saying, get my name on one of them stars and all by making them bangers. You feel me? So mm -hmm. if I keep on making these bangers. I'm going to be lit regardless, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So that's really what I was going for. And before that, I had a little group called Hollywood Boys, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so with, okay, with the high school, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, yeah. You know what I mean? So we was Hollywood Boys, and I was like, shit, I might as well be Hollywood Bangers because I'm the only one making beats like, out of anybody. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I really started, but then I started making more meaning as I started getting older, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's how I really came with that. Yeah. You know? So, you know, for the people who don't really know you like that, you know, just kind of give them a background of what you do and what you bring to the game right now. Shit, right now we bring that new sauce, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bring, okay, yeah, I did Yeah, that. they cost to be the boss, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we bring all the different types of sauce, but I'm really working with like a bunch of different people, you know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to build with upcoming artists because yeah. it's easy to just work with whoever's on the top right now, you know what I'm saying? But the best part, and you get the most, you know what I mean? You get the best feelings when you built it up from the ground up with yeah. somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's really what we got to offer for 2018, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's what we're doing. So, so, could you tell me off the rip, you know, a couple of artists that you worked with previously? Yeah, well, my, um, you know, my biggest placement is I did some shit with Kevin Gates. Okay. Um, I did some with Dex, Warhol, like, well, Warhol is coming out. Got some coming out with uh, Takashi 6 9 who else? Lil Zan, a bunch of upcoming artists and all that, you know what I'm saying? Fat Trail, you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of work. Okay, so yeah. well, tell me, you know, what what all you do in this you know, you do more like, you know, rap, you know? Oh, no, I'm, yeah, I'm a, so, so yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a producer and whatnot. And, um, yeah, I mean, I dibble and dabble in the okay. rap game, you know what I'm saying? But really, if I'm doing rap, then that's just to further my producer clout, you know what I mean? But you never know, because the people, like, Nav and all that started out as producers, and yeah. then they got stupid clouded up. And was like, you know, I make beats every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, really, it's just whatever the game brings for me. So, you know what I mean? Whatever I see, I'm talented at, and the most people rock with me with. That's where I'm going with. It, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So you said you named, you know, a couple artists that you work with. Yeah. Which one has, you know, kind of like the best one you work with? It kind of been Gates, man. Like yeah. I said, Gates was really the first one that really gave me like. A opportunity as far as like the main like the industry you know what i'm saying like i like i came across his email shouts out to my boy patrick carmelo you know what i'm saying because he ain't like at the time you feel me he was just coming up you know what i'm saying i was coming up too and he ain't really have too much to offer or nothing like that at the time but he was like bro but i do have kevin gates email you know what i'm saying he was like he was like bro i mean that's all i got right now but he's like i'll give it to you you feel me and i was like at first i was like you know what i don't know if it's gonna work I, and i was like if it does work he ain't finna pick one of my beats yeah, I picked one of them, bro. Next thing you know, I got a 40 million plus record. You know what I'm saying? Like 40 million streams on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, Kevin Gates was probably the biggest one. And that, that was like the first one that just got me in the door. And after that, things kind of been smooth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, tell me how you felt once you figured out that he was going to use one of your babies. You know, oh, yeah. Uh, how'd all happen, man? Like, I was, matter of fact, I was chilling on the, <laughs> I was in the bathroom, you feel me, at the crib. I was in the bathroom on Instagram. I got a notification. I was like, let me see what this is. Let me see what this is about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I looked at it on um, the notification. It was one of my boys. You know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, you made this beat. And I was on Kevin yeah. Gates' post. I was like, I'm looking at it. And I heard my beat. And it had to tag him and all that. You know what I'm saying? And he posted up like five videos of the train. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is about to do something for me. You know what I'm saying? This is about to do something for me. Yeah. So, uh, Shit, once I got that feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, I started posting on my joint, everybody's rocking with it. The joint comes out a couple months. Matter of fact, it took like months to come out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't yeah. think it was ever gonna come out, but once it came out, bro, 
it was really a done deal. You know what I'm saying? Like that hella love. People I ain't heard from that long. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You know, he, People yeah. I ain't heard them from forever coming through, talking. Yeah, you know I mean, congratulating it, trying to. Yeah, you know I mean, be buddy buddy. But I know how that goes. But yeah. it felt crazy though. You know what I'm saying? But we just, you know, for 2018 here on now, we trying to continue that feeling. You know what I'm saying? 40 million plus records. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's exactly. what we need. Like you said you said you were from New York. What what part of New York you from? <laughs> so I'm like from I'm not from the city, you know what I'm saying? Everybody every time I say I'm from New York, everybody think, Oh, you from the city, but yeah. nah, I'm actually from a city called Utica, you know what I'm saying? And that's really up upstate, like by like Syracuse okay. and all that type of stuff. But yeah, it's really a, a small city and you know, we got talent and stuff like that, but really hasn't too many like there hasn't really been much things going on that really just took off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't too, too many people that really took off. So I feel like I'm kinda of paving the way for a lot of people in my city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And opening doors for a lot of people out there, you know what I'm saying? That's the way to go, that's the way to that's go. Okay. So, um well when did you move out here? So I ain't even move out here. I'm only here for two weeks. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I ain't even move out here. Yeah, you know what I'm so, saying? But I only been out here for. I only really been out here for a week. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I'm about to be up out of here soon. But I did other things while I've been here. I'm just making mad connections. So I might. I might move out here. We're gonna have to. Yeah. We're gonna have to see what you know what I mean. Yeah. The things come. You know what I'm saying? So what? What made you say, yeah, man? I got to make that move to Atlanta. Like, you know, well, this the thing, bro. Ever since I was like 18, I was. I turned 18. I was like. I'm traveling. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm putting that footwork. You know what I'm saying? So I got out there. I was going Cali. You know what I'm saying? I was staying in Cali for whole summers. You know what I'm saying? I was out there for months. Uh, and you feel me? But I was like, all right. I did the Cali thing. You know what I'm saying? I know what New York's like. I know what the city's like. You know what I'm saying? But I know that as far as the type of music I'm making, Atlanta is like the crowd that I was always. You know what I mean? That's why I was yeah. like, like Zaytoven and things like. I've been influenced by people like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like. It's only right that I come here. This is like the mecca for rap music. And plus, I had plugs out here anyway. So I was like, it's about that time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So coming from New York down to the A, what, what's different? Like, you know, what's something that you can do in New York that you can't really, you know, do down here? Ooh, that's a tough one, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I say it's more of the opposite. There's plenty of things that I can do here that I can't do in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, in New York, like I said, it's not really too many opportunities for me. So, like, really, it's just, like, either I'm in the crib making beats or I'm going to my cousin's little studio, which is a small, I mean, a really small, you know what I'm saying? But we get things done. But that's really it for me. But here, it's every day my phone's blicking. You know what I'm saying? My drink's blicking. Everybody, like, every day there's, like, plans. Somebody want me to come to the studio or... Yeah, I mean, y'all hit me up to do it. And if, you know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of things every day. So that's why I say it's like different thing out here as opposed to New York. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah. so what got you into all this, you know, producing, beat making? What got you into that? <laughs> um, well, my uncle, he used to DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he wasn't like DJing in clubs and all like that, but he had the little turntables yeah, at the crib. Yeah, yeah. So he used to, like, I remember, I always remember, I used to go in his room. He always had the quiet storm. You know what I'm saying? He always was doing quiet storm. You know what I mean? So he was up there all day and he had the little beat machine. So one time he gave me the beat machine. He was like, yo, hold it down. You know what I mean? I was like, all right, back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I had the little Magic Studio. I ain't even start out at Studio. I started out at Magic Studio. My beats was ass back then. Uh-huh. <laughs> My shit was yeah. ass back then. Start song, man. Start. <laughs> I was making like techno beats, like some bullshit. But, but you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, he gave me like the little beat machine and all that. I started playing around with it. Started playing around with Magic Studio with my pops had on my computer. I was like, yo, this is kind of fun. I was like, yo, this, this is kind of fun. You know, so I wasn't no good at it. Yeah. But um, once I got around to like, I'm going to say like early high school, I started, you know what I mean? There was even times I was, I was like, you know, I'm going to play sick. I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I was like, I'm at the crib making beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was at the crib making beats. You know what I'm saying? But that's really just how I started out. Just through like my family, they was playing piano or DJing or whatever they was doing. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you. So back when you said you would start making the techno beats to now <laughs> you know to now how do you see you know the growth and you know just the beats back then to the beats now how would you compare oh, those man. Well, shit. i mean obviously your boy done got a, yeah i mean we yeah. done got a lot better but really before back then i was just just i had no formal training i ain't watched yeah. no youtube videos i ain't know just like yeah that's what i'm saying i was just clicking buttons and seeing what they do so that's kind of what my beat sounded like just a bunch of clicking buttons and see what they do you feel me but like as i started getting better and learning from more people watching youtube videos you know what i'm saying like i really started to perfect my sound and like learn arrangement you know what i mean learn how Melodies are supposed to work simplifying your sound, not doing too much. Like 2015, when like it was 
prime Chief Keef days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even the prime, but you know, I mean, like 2015, 2014, my beats was straight futuristic. Like, mm-hmm. and everybody who gonna watch this, the producer, y'all gonna know what a futuristic beat is. You know what I mean? And they had yeah. hella sounds in it. Like, it was like old D. Like, it's hard to rap on, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But now, like, as we get into 2018 and stuff, I realize, all right, you gotta simplify them beats, bro. If you want anybody to rap on it, you gotta have room for the rapper to lay their vocals. Yeah. You feel me? So I just always kind of try to simple, like always try to do one less if I can. Okay. And still make it a banger, but just yeah, one less. Just you feel me? That's what I've been trying to do. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, it's a lot of producers, beat makers, and stuff out here just worldwide. What are people, you know, how do you set yourself apart from everybody else? Like, what's some with folks here? And then they say, damn, this, this Hollywood bangers right here. You know? <sighs> well, a lot of people always praise me on my like melodies and stuff like that or come up with well really i think the sauce is in the drums you know what i mean i think the sauce is in the drums so you know i always try to make it my beats had that certain bounce to them you feel me when you hit that beat you gotta you gotta yeah you yeah. feel me like and that's the that's the most important part as long as you got that bounce and that rhythm in your beat that's what's gonna set you apart on uh, your beat apart from somebody else's who got a different type of bounce or no bounce at all you feel me so that, that bounce is really where it's at for me, and that's why I think a lot of people take pride in my beats. Okay, okay. So out of that that process, what's the hardest part of that process, and what's the easiest part of that process? The, the, the hardest part of making a beat for me might be like, this is why I think it's a hard part. You know, when some people were like, yo, we, we want this type of beat. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Like me, I don't know how to, like I ain't gonna front. I don't even know how to play the piano or not like that. Like I. I'll just play a little bit and then, you know what I mean, type in the rest or whatever, but the hardest part is trying to make it sound like somebody else's, but that's not what I'm going for anyways, you feel me? Okay, okay. So really, I just always want to come up with a fresh sound, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. as far as like the easiest part, yeah. <laughs> the easiest part of it, just making it saucy, you know what I mean? That's the easiest part for me, like adding the accents, because like, it's, you're going to start with like a couple chords, you know okay, what I mean? Okay. You're going to add a couple of things, but the accents... Yeah. Which make your beat more interesting. That's why I feel like it's my my you know my strongest point. Just making the beat interesting. So we're we're in the breakdowns too. You feel me? Like when I break down my beats, it's gonna catch your attention. Cause some people the beat. If you on YouTube, there's gonna be some beat. Like if you look up a Pierre beat, it's probably gonna be the same from the beginning to the end. Yeah. It ain't gonna change up at all. But like ever since I started, you know what I mean, I always make sure I break down my beats to where like it takes you on a journey. When you listen to the beat, it take you on a journey. Okay. And it's not you're not gonna get bored with it. You feel me? All right, shit. So, you know, just let the folks know what you got out right now that they can go grab, you know, any Instagram, Twitter, stuff where they can, you know, contact you, follow up with you. you know. For sure, yeah. So, if y'all want to um, check up with me, man, make sure y'all check in with Hollywood Bangers on um, our Instagram. So, it's at Hollywood underscore Bangers. You can get me on YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel because I might be doing some tutorials. I might be doing, yeah, you know I mean, you never know what the future may hold. But I'm going to bring some sauce for the producer community. Um, Twitter at Hollywood Banger, no S. Um, yeah, so and make sure y'all check out HollywoodBanger.com. If you're looking for some beats, man, check out HollywoodBanger.com. You will not be disappointed. Straight sauce, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we tuned out. You heard from myself. I don't say Hollywood Bangers. Tuned out. So.